Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So I haven't done a challenge in a really long time and I'm gearing up for the challenges of all challenges, which is going to be 75 hard. So for seven days straight, I am challenging myself to walk 10,000 steps. Now I want to say this, I had surgery back in December 15th. I healed from surgery. I kind of went from zero to 100, kind of needed to take a break. So I'm hoping that I'm fully healed and that we're going to be able to do this and we're going to be able to get this in. I got this. Girl, you got this. If you guys are new here, please subscribe. I've got lots of fun challenges coming up and I'm just excited to see where this year takes me and you do not want to miss out on all the fun. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let's get into this video. Day number one, I took a walk with my sweet little doggy around my neighborhood and I also did some dancing. When I, we are so random You bring the darkness to the lights Play the atom I ignore the fact That this will never last Your words come out so soothing That I forget that this thing is confusing Having such a blast But don't ask where my head is at Cause I'm cruising through the rush of us I don't care about love Just need your touch Okay, so here's a breakdown of day one. I danced for 30 minutes. I went for a walk outside for like 28 minutes, for a total of 58 minutes. I did wake up a little later than normal. No, I got started way later than normal. I think it wasn't until after 12. Um, it is now 10.15 and I have 508 steps to do. And I'm sitting here like, how the F did I not get 10,000 steps in yet? I danced for 30 minutes. I took a walk. I've been active up and down the stairs. I don't know how. So, you guys think this junk is easy? It's so not. So I am definitely in for a challenge these next six days. Day one complete. So there you go, 10,005 steps, 4.41 miles. So there is my final activity for the day, my final rundown, and I will see you guys for day two tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome to day two of walking 10,000 steps. So it is 3.09, it's pretty late in the day for the amount of steps that I have. It's Sunday though, I'm just trying to chill, I went and uh, walked around Target for a little bit, got some things for project I'm working on with for my other channel. So I will check in with you guys throughout the day. But yes, I've got lots and lots and lots of steps to do. So I'll check in with you guys later. Just came back from my walk. Um, y'all. <laughs> There were a couple of times I felt like my legs were gonna give out. Wow. I am really proud of myself though because I went up two hills willingly. So I'm really proud of myself for that. Um, as you can see, I definitely broke a little bit of a sweat. I have 5,383 steps, but I'll check in with you guys later to update you on my steps and everything and where that's going and yeah. Y'all, let me tell you something. I'm worn out. It is 9.47. I just hit it. I'm about to go get ready for bed. Today was a doozy and I'm sitting here like it's only day two. How am I gonna make it to day three? I have blisters on the bottom of my feet. My hips hurt, my back hurts, my toes hurt, my ankles hurt, my shins hurt, my knees hurt, my butt hurts, everything hurts. <sighs> wow. 
we are gonna do this. 10,000 steps down. I'm gonna shoot the camera around. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be asleep, like, soon. All right, 9.50, 11.85, 36 minutes, 14 out of 12. Just in case you can't read that. Good night. Hey guys, welcome to day three. So today, we are out and about. I have some errands to run. I have some things I need to get from Dollar Tree and Walmart. And let me tell you, the arch of my left foot, I'm not sure if my right foot is like this, but for sure the arch of my left foot literally feels bruised. It is not fun. <laughs> Yesterday, my body took a beating for some reason. But we are at Walmart and I parked here because originally like I needed to do some things on the phone and I was uh, eating my breakfast real quick which is just a Greek yogurt and some almonds. And I was like, I'm just gonna park here real quick. And then my son, a genius, was like, why don't we just walk? <laughs> <laughs> like stay parked here and then walk and I was like duh so let me show you how I guess far we are which it's not really far but this is far for me y'all this is far as far as like parking at a place so I will check in with you guys later and let's get day three started But I'm running like I'm lost in the woods, yeah I don't really care Cause I just like it here Me and you can't get enough No, you know, act it, but I know this is a bluff though Having such a blast But don't ask questions Okay, so it's 918 and I have 9,172 steps Have what, about 900 something? Um, and I'm literally just gonna I'm gonna find my headphones uh, put some headphones in and I'm literally no actually I'm gonna put on some TV I'm gonna watch something and I'm literally just gonna march in place just like this What a really good ending to a really hard day, I'm not gonna lie. Today was hard emotionally, my battery's dying. Okay, so I had to move on to my phone. Um, 9.45, very emotionally draining day. Um, it was actually an emotional night, but um, it's okay. We're gonna survive, it's gonna be okay. And... <sighs> Nothing is ever coincidence, and oh, anyways, um, yeah, I did it, and today's day three. I'm feeling really, really, really bloated today. I think that it's, it's either one or two things. It's surgery-related, um, because I did have surgery, and someone told me that your body actually takes a full 90 days to recover from a hysterectomy. And it hasn't been quite 90 days for me yet. Or it's just like my body's in shock. So here are the stats. I guess pretty much 36 minutes of working out. There is 10,029 steps. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Day four. It's really hard for me to like not come on here or to try to come on here and not be negative so i am totally not leaving this footage in here because i literally all i did was complain this day was really hard for me the night before was emotionally hard and day three was honestly hard for me too to get my steps in but this day in particular i had a lot of editing to do and i literally was just editing all day long and so it was really hard for me to get my steps and it was really hard for me to pull myself away from my computer. So that's what I'm telling you, but I'm complaining and it's really annoying and I just, I can't even stand it myself. So I'm not going to torture you guys through it. But basically what I'm telling you through this is that I had to keep taking breaks throughout the day to get up from my computer and just march in place. And that is how I got my steps in for the day. 
Anyways, it is 8.37 and I have 8,264 steps in. So, I'm going to go. I see that my video had just finished exporting. I'm going to go ahead and upload it. While it's uploading, I'm going to march in place like I've been all day. <laughs> And see if I can get these steps in. Again, I'm sorry. I know I'm complaining. And I'm, I'm done with this challenge already. And it's only day four. Day four, finally. I never thought that I would make it here. It's 1018. And I just hit 10,000. Come on. Go back. 10,000 and 10 steps. Here is my activity for the day. Whew. Check you guys tomorrow for day five. Day five and I cannot complain. It is 7.44. This is the fastest I've ever gotten this many steps. And y'all, I didn't even work out today. I literally deep cleaned my bathroom and reorganized it. I think that's all I really did today. Yeah, I didn't work out. So... Just saying. Cleaning the house is quite the workout if I got, let's see, 9,059 steps in just cleaning and reorganizing and decluttering. So I am pooped, but I still have about a thousand steps to get in. So what I'm going to do is march in place. Want you to be my vice, 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 vice. I'm all about your vibe, vibe, vibe. Want you to so I did seven and a half minutes almost of just marching in place. And I have 10,000, I think it was like 10,007 or something like that. But I'm going to switch the camera around, show you guys. I'm so excited that I got this day done. We are only, we have only two days left. And then we are going to be doing 75 hard, which we're excited about. I need a real good challenge. I was like real moody and real wah, 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 complaining about this challenge the first four days. <laughs> but today was much better and I'm a much happy, happier camper. So I'm gonna show you my watch and then I'm going to enjoy my phone and relax and not worry about my stupid steps for the rest of the evening. So as you can see, I have 10,027 steps. And there's my stats. Wednesday the 24th, 8.09. And your girl is done. Yes. So it's later in the evening. What time is it? It's late. It's 10.03. I should be asleep. However, I'm really hungry. And I was just responding to comments and everyone was talking about built bars and I was like, I want a built bar. So I went downstairs and got it and I am eating the German chocolate cake. You guys, I want you to go down to the comments right now and tell me what are your favorite built bars in order of preference? Mine is number one, the almond coconut. Two, coconut. Three, German chocolate. Four, cookies and cream. Those are my favorites. They are amazing. So definitely go down to the comment section and let me know which ones are your favorite. But I also wanted to say a huge thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring this video. These are the most amazing protein bars of life. They are so good. They do not taste like protein. So yeah, link is down below in the description box for 20% off. It is a link. It's going to save you 20% off and you need these protein bars in your life. Now I'm going to go enjoy this and then go to sleep because I'm really tired but I'm also really hungry. I think this might be my new favorite, y'all. Okay, maybe the second second favorite 
Or can you really put... Mm. No, the coconut almond was definitely my favorite. Y'all, I don't know. This is definitely a contender. I'm going to have to do the two side by side because this is freaking delicious. What I'm kind of realizing is that I'm not a huge fan of like the brownie kind of um, really chewy inside. And this one is not chewy like the brownie ones. It's just, oh, it's so good. It's almost kind of like melt in your mouth. It is so freaking delicious. Seriously. I'm glad I don't have another one of these because I'd probably be like, mm. let me eat another one. They're so good. Okay. I'm going to go and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day six. So this is me. Day six. 6-11. Waiting on my food. It has like 14 minutes left. And this is me. I just picked up my built bar for dessert tonight. I'm going to try the banana bread, which sounds really good. I hope that there's nuts in here. I've noticed that I like the ones with nuts. I don't know. But I'm also, I just purchased the um, chocolate chip ones. And they're like a limited flavor, but they keep bringing them back or they keep selling out. I can't remember which one it is. But I am getting my hands on those soon and I cannot wait because I want to try them because they've been looking so good but yeah this is what I've been doing I only have no it's, it's gotta be more than that hold on I'm like I have to adjust hold oh, please okay 5,370 steps I'm way far behind for it being 612 but I'm just going to, like I said, walk in place. I really, really, really wanted to walk outside today. But it just didn't happen. Um, I've just had so much work to do. And next week, I start 75 hard where I have to do a workout outside every single day. So I was just like, if I don't get it in today, it's going to be fine. Um, so yeah, this is me getting in my steps before dinner. We'll see how much we get in. And maybe I'll do some dancing tonight. I don't know. Okay, so y'all, I fell asleep. I legit fell asleep after dinner. And I have 3,254 steps to complete. I just randomly found this on YouTube. I was just kind of going through stuff. And I was like, oh, it was on my homepage. So it is, I feel like someone told me to check her out. I'm not sure. But it is MK Fit. And I only watched like two and a half minutes of it. And I'm like, okay, like I think, I think this is the one. Um, and it's the 2000s hit dance workout. And so I'm going to try this one and see. It's, uh, it looks fun. So let's get these last steps in for today. Would just like to say that I had been trying to do the Beyonce uh oh uh oh uh oh like the crazy and love dance you know what I'm talking about this move right here and I think I got it down pat like y'all literally I was like working on it for years and then I like was doing it and I was like yo I think you got it I don't know man I'm gonna keep working on it though because it's looking pretty good and I know I can make it look better but I'm really proud of myself. It's also always been my goal to learn to dance like Britney Spears. She was always my idol growing up and with this whole Britney, free Britney, <laughs> free Britney movement going on and all the documentaries and stuff I've been watching, I have been watching her dance again and I'm like oh my gosh. So it is my goal very soon to maybe learn one of her dances comment down below and let me know which one you think I should learn try to learn first I don't know I may have to lose a little bit of weight first before I attempt because there's a lot of jumping um, and a lot of like fast foot movement but before I lose like 75 pounds y'all I'm gonna get a Britney Spears dance down and I'm gonna look 
really good doing it and I'm going to make all of my early 20 days come true because we didn't have YouTube tutorials to teach us and and I'm not very good when just watching the dance fast speed um well I'm also dancing more too so maybe I am better at it now than I was then anyways I'm gonna do it that's a goal of mine so stay tuned because it is coming one day I promise you that so I'm done that EMK fit she's okay I did like a couple and then I just my camera died and I started doing the fitness marshal um, but I got in 10,000 and something steps and done for the day at 8.49, so I'll show you my watch. Okay, so my battery had died and I had to charge it for a little bit, but I have 10,008 steps and come on. <laughs> These are my stats for the day. So I will see you guys tomorrow for day number seven. Day seven, you guys, we finally, finally made it. It is 9.23, and I'm at like 9,100, something like that. Today was a very eventful day, or I should say evening. First of all, look at my hair, y'all. Does it look nice and thick and luscious? Have some extensions in. Um, but I went and I got Botox today, and they told me that the full effect is gonna be like two to three days and I'm already like, I see instant results. This girl's happy. So uh, it's funny cause I just told the kids, I always try to get in a good, in the good lighting. So like it kind of disguises the forehead wrinkles. And I'm like, now I can totally like just do whatever angle, it doesn't matter because I no longer have to disguise any forehead wrinkles. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it's definitely something I've been wanting to do forever. And I know this has nothing to do with weight loss, but it kind of does because I was telling my friend who came with me for moral support, who's amazing. So thank you girl for coming with me. But um, I was like, I feel like this is the year of my glow up. And there's like a lot of things that I've been wanting to do. Lose weight, extensions. I talked to someone today about um, doing like fusion extensions or um, bonded or tape-ins or something like that and you know we talked about prices and you know I was like I want to get extensions and I want to um, you know there's just a list of things I want to do and the first thing today was the Botox so I'm really proud of myself like this is kind of my gift to myself for uh, this is like four years being a single mom um, I left my husband four years ago tomorrow um, which is crazy. I also, in this house, uh, tomorrow is like my one year anniversary and moving into this house was a huge, um, a huge thing for me. And unfortunately COVID hit like right when we moved in. But, um, it's one of those things where, you know, my friend was like, you're celebrating yourself today. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. I am. And so it's just been a really good day. Um, I'm feeling way more positive today obviously and the past couple of days than I have the first few days of the challenge. This challenge was definitely a struggle and we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Um, I also, uh, bloating, y'all, bloating. Y'all always hear me talk about bloating, bloating, bloating. My body does this thing where if I overdo it, especially after I've had my hysterectomy, I just naturally bloat. Like today was the first time I've actually been able to wear jeans again um and even now I'm still kind of like mm, they're not the most comfortable but um yeah I mean it is what it is so I don't I honestly don't think I lost any weight I'm gonna be straight up honest with you I don't think I lost a pound um I wouldn't be surprised if I freaking gained because <laughs> that's just how I feel it's honestly how I feel my diet's been on point I've been drinking my water um, but it has definitely stressed my body. It's been very inflamed. It's been very sore. Um, there's just a lot of things that I've experienced this week that has not been very comfortable. But like I said, I'm gearing up for 75 hard, which is not an easy challenge at all. So um, it'll eventually come off. You know, I just got to keep grinding and keep working. But we will see tomorrow what the results are. Of course, when I reach my 10,000 steps, I will show you guys. 
um, and give you the final stats for the day and we will do a wrap up of this video. But until then, how amazing does my Botox look? I literally just still can't believe because I feel Botox is like so LA and I'm so not LA. But um, yeah, can y'all see my extensions too? Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Or no, later tonight. Okay, y'all, we are at day seven, 9,960 steps. This is what we're doing. Hope I'm not making y'all dizzy. Wait, why does it only say 61? I may have to swing my arm a little bit. Y'all, I'm so happy with my results. By the way, don't be all up in the comments being all like, girl, you got Botox, blah, 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 blah. First of all, it is the year 2021. It is no longer like a taboo thing where only celebrities get Botox. Number two, I always say, do you. I'm on social media. If I wasn't on social media, I honestly wouldn't see my forehead wrinkles as much as I do. And that's the reason why they bother me as much as they do. Because I'm constantly looking at myself way more than the normal average person looks at themselves. So it's something I've been very self-conscious about for several years. And I just reached 10,006 steps. I finished day seven of this challenge and I got Botox today. Today's a really good day. And tomorrow marks the anniversary of me leaving my abusive ex-husband four years ago, becoming a single mom. And then last year I moved into this beautiful, gorgeous house. So go me. I am amazing. So are you. I'll see you guys tomorrow for our update my thoughts on this challenge and see if I've lost any weight or if I gained. I was so excited about my Botox that I forgot to show you guys my stats. So this is, hold on, it's not focusing. This is today. It's 1014, the 26th. Those are my stats. Um, by the way, I did a workout this morning. Um, I danced for a little bit. However, um, my camera was dead or the battery was dead to this camera and I didn't feel like going downstairs so I didn't record it, but yeah. Those are my stats. There you go, 10,010 steps. Yay. Okay, so we made it. Seven days, 10,000 steps. Here are my thoughts. I did not like this challenge in the slightest. With YouTube is my job, okay? So with that being said, I have days where I'm active and I have days where I just need to get all of the computer work done that I possibly need to do. So I am trying to get back on a schedule to where I do a mixture of both filming and editing in one day so it's not so much of active, not active, active, not active, but if it doesn't get there, it just doesn't get there. Now I did this to prepare myself for 75 hard and I honestly think that 75 hard is going to be less of a challenge for me. I think the biggest thing that was really annoying to me was constantly having to check my steps. Yeah, I, I was obsessively checking it making sure that I was on track. It was making sure that I was not too far behind because I didn't want to end at the end of the day and be like at only three, 4,000 steps and have that many steps to get in when I'm already, you know, exhausted and ready to go to bed. So it was just a little too obsessive for me and I personally became a little too obsessive and it just was more frustrating for me than it was anything else. Now, because it was a challenge that I'm publicly doing and I'm recording for, um, obviously that made me be like more consistent of, I have to get these 10,000 steps in. Um, so if I were just doing it for myself, I no, I would honestly be as obsessive as I was. So it's just not, it's not something for me personally. I'm the type of person that I would just much rather go ahead, get the workout in, have it done with, and then just go along with your day and just try to be more active and be more conscious about trying to be active. But on certain days where you just have a lot of computer work to do, it's just like you need to get this work done and 
you know, it's just, it's just, it's, life is all about balance. So for me, I definitely would not, but I do think it's good to definitely stay on track and to also get yourself up moving and all that kind of stuff. As far as my weight, um, again, I know I'm bloated. Don't go in the comments and say you're just fat because you think that big people don't bloat. And I also just had a major surgery. So please educate yourself before you go in the comment section and say something very disrespectful. But I started this weight this week at 315.2 and I ended it at 313.4. So I lost 1.8 pounds. Which you would think, oh, that's really great, but I just came off of a week where for eight days straight, I was just not really working out. Um, I was kind of eating a little crappy. I was, I was in a major funk, and I have a video all about that, like talking about like how to get out of funk and stuff like that. So I should have lost more than that. Um, but I mean, it's okay. It's, it's, it's whatever. Um, the weight is going to come off. A huge thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring a portion of this video. Uh, click the link down below in the description box to save 20% off of your order. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I definitely encourage you guys to step up your workout game, but also step it up in baby steps because seriously going from zero to 100 baby steps is is my opinion um, and your body's not going to scream as much this whole entire week I've been so sore at my feet been like blistering and and hurting I went and got a pedicure today y'all when I tell you that massage has never felt better. It felt amazing. And I was like, I wish I could have had someone massage my feet this whole entire week because my feet have really been hurting. But anyways, I have talked your ears off. This has been long enough. I love you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Wish me luck. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going to order Built Bars. If you have ordered them, what you think of them. They do not taste like protein, which is amazing. And they're so delicious. And also, what was I going to tell you guys? Let me know if you're going to do 75 hard or if you're going to do like a version of a 75 hardish. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.